Morning world. Welcome to Thursday, 27th of May. Bit more than that. Uh, for those of you that have not been us very long, this is what we feed our birds on. Waste waste bread from the local bakery. They really like it. Oh boys and girls. They shut up now, but um, a second ago you could hear all the magpies. They know, they know when I feed my poultry. And it's not just the ducks, the geese, the chickens that like the bread. It's the local population of magpies, crows, jackdaws, other covids, and a few smaller birds as well. But we're probably going to have to have a bit of a thin out again. I don't mind having a few pairs of magpies about, but we counted nearly 20 out here today, and that's that's just too many. Um, not not that I've got anything particularly against the magpies, but they do do an awful lot of damage. Um, there are plenty of people who support say, "Oh, you mustn't shoot them and whatever else," but um, when you see when you see them pursuing baby birds around, and it won't be long now, and killing baby birds, it's, yeah. I don't mind a couple of pairs, but 20, too many. I didn't bring you down here just to watch me let my poultry out. There's a reason why I've come down here. It's just down there, and as soon as I've opened this gate, I'll show you. So the last few weeks, we've had a drop of rain. After a very dry period, we had a very wet period. Uh, it was cold, which slowed the grass down, for sure, but now it's warmed up. My grass is now getting away. So I, want, I wanted to get the golf course grass in front of us. I needed to get it in front of us, so if I put the cattle out there, they can kind of stay out there, you know, for a prolonged period, because there is the chance that we might be able to just move the sheep around the two bottom fields backwards and forwards and the two bottom fields in the paddocks and maybe maybe we can cut the avenue for um for a crop of hay later on it's an option and if not i can let that grow on and we could do do something else with it but uh before i let the cattle out into um the golf course i'll need to do something about that that is a little piece of fence that um got kind of destroyed and then never repaired because well because i never got round to it um but i don't want the cattle getting into here in the orchard especially now we've got our new turdinator in there because those fiberglass covers are not strong enough to take on a half ton cow so i need to repair this bit of fence and what i said to my wife is maybe rather than just repair the fence I can put an, another gate, another gate in here, and then she's got another access in and out of the golf course. And not only that, also means I've got an access in and out of the golf course for the geese. They can they can use this. Um, so that's the plan. Today, if I can, provided I can get cement, I'll ring round first to make sure I can get the cement, because if I can't buy cement, there's not much point in me starting this. And apparently one or two people are having trouble getting hold of it. But yeah, so that's the job today is uh, then the Cullimores at Frampton on Severn pick up a ton of aggregate. Uh, I want at least half a dozen bags of cement because I've got a gate post to go in here and I've also got another one to go over to the farm because if I can get this post in today, maybe I can get the 16 foot gate post in at the other farm tomorrow. Maybe. So, but yeah, so the, today's video is going to be mainly about me trying to put a gate in here. So we've got to decide whether it's going to be a six foot or a four foot gate. 
Um, I'd kind of like to put a six foot gate in here, but I have a couple of spare four foots. And again, it's supply and demand. If I can't get a six foot gate, well, there's no, there's not really any traffic going through here apart from foot traffic. Um, but I wanted something big enough that if the sheep got in or something, I want something big enough that they can see to get out. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, trust me. That is already warming up in there. It's promising to be a nice day. I think we're going to get into the 20s today. So, lovely. Right, we're off to Morton Sea Cullamore over at Prampton Severn. We're going to go and fetch a ton of aggregate for concrete. On the way back, we'll call in to build it. And fingers crossed, they've got some cement. So, fingers crossed. Go find the driver now. You go stay there. Apparently, we're going to Bay One. Wait here for your man, and we'll get loaded. Thank you. 
your job. Is it back on the way bridge? If I can get on there. Ah, he's moving. Okay, back in a minute. Well, it turns out they got cement in stock here, so I haven't got to build it. I can literally, well, I've already done it. I bought it and picked it up here. So I've got to go down to the bagging plant, which I think is down there somewhere. I've got to find Ben, who's going to wave me down. Am I allowed to help? Hey. Am I allowed? Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> right. Job done. Now what I've got to do is go home and dig some holes. I'm looking forward to that. I'm afraid you missed out on all the excitement. I've only been back here, what, 10 minutes from picking that gravel up? And there was an idiot down in the bottom right hand field with a dog running around, which spooked the cattle, uh, which ended up with one of the calves jumping in over the fence, through the barbed wire, in with the sheep. And of course, once one was out there, everybody else wanted to go out there. So he, he buggered off before I got down there because he knew it wasn't very happy. I don't want to touch that. Um, so I spent the last hour swapping sheep and cattle over and repairing the broken fence. So you're going to walk in the countryside. There's nothing I can do about it. You've got the perfect right to walk down this footpath. Nothing I can do about that. But if you're going to bring a dog, keep it on a lead. That's well, it's one o'clock. Two hours I've lost now because of an idiot with a dog. Anyway, peace has now resumed back down there. I can now maybe, well, we're going to have my dinner first and then maybe we'll make a start on that project. I can get it finished today then, am I?